Hey guys, welcome back to Under the Barrier Books. I am Brittany and today I want to talk about some of my recent reads and what I am currently reading. Um, I am filming upstairs with my children's playroom right there, so we might have kids running in and out, I don't know, singing, there's just like tunes in the background, so just bear with me on that part. Um, okay, so the most recent book that I have finished is The Less Than Perfect Legend of Donna Crusody by Dan Micklewaite. <laughs> this started out so good. I was loving it so much. There are amazing quotes in the beginning about reading and how wonderful reading is and how important it is in our lives. And the main character, Donna, is a very bookish girl who kind of hides from the world through stories and her apartment is just filled to the brim with books. She's even made a tile floor out of books and I was loving that so much because I feel like as such an avid reader I also <laughs> sometimes hide from the world and use books as an escape and kind of to avoid some of the things that are in my life and so I really related to that. Um, but as the story goes on, it just really lost its momentum and it lost that magic that it had. Um, I, I really got lost in the storyline and felt like it didn't really make sense. There wasn't a purpose um, to the storyline. So, I mean, I did enjoy it. It wasn't horrible. It was very quirky and different uh, read and it was definitely um, more of like a love story, but it wasn't too sappy and too... Um, juvenile so I did appreciate that but um in the end I gave it three stars because it was just kind of middle of the road for me. So I am currently reading two books. The first one that I'm reading is This Beast uh, which is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Um, I've only read The Secret History before this one and so this is my second Donna Tartt and I am buddy reading this with Vanessa over at Chbosky and we're just really slowly reading this taking our time. Um, I went into this extremely blind. I had no idea what it was about. I knew that it involved artwork and um, the protagonist was a young teenage boy, but that is about all that I knew. And so I'm not going to tell too much because I actually was very um, intrigued and not pleasantly surprised, but really drawn in by the plot because I didn't know that it was going to be so intense. Like there's certain parts that almost feel like a thriller um, and a mystery and I think that Donna Tartt does such a good job at making mundane things seem really really interesting and I really appreciate that. Her writing is so I hear amazing. Train. You hear a train? Awesome. You want to say hi? Oh. <laughs> so I am really loving this. I'm about 170 pages in at the moment. Um, so I am listening to this on audiobook. I also have it on my Kindle because this is just insane to carry around. So I'm interested to see where the storyline is going to go and I'm having a really great time discussing it with Vanessa. She's an awesome buddy reader so I'll keep you guys posted on my final thoughts on this one. The other book that I'm reading was sent to me by the lovely Faber who is one of my all-time favorite publishers for sure and they sent me The Graces by Laura Eve. This is a YA book that has been compared to uh, The Craft which is one of my favorite movies ever which follows uh, teenage witches and it gets very dark and so this has kind of been pitched as a similar thing. Uh, the back says everyone said The Graces were witches. I was going to make them mine. Just like everybody else in her small town, River is obsessed with the Graces. And just like everybody else, she's been seduced by their wealth, their exclusivity, their beauty, and their glamour. Perhaps even their magic. But unlike everybody else, River knows exactly what she's doing. Doesn't she? So this is a really, really quick read right now. It's a really good balance between this and the Goldfinch because they're very different. Um, and I'm usually a single book kind of girl, but right now I'm just feeling like bouncing around in between stories. Um, so, so far this book has just followed River who has moved to this small town on the coast. Um, so we know that River has done something in her past that has caused her and her mother to move and lose contact with their father. Um, but you're not sure exactly what has happened or the explanation behind it. Um, you just know that she carries around a lot of guilt and blames herself in a lot of ways. So I'm intrigued to see where that is going to go. Um, the graces include a mother and father and twins, a boy and a girl, and then a girl named Summer who is in River's class and they become best friends and that's kind of how she gets an in with the Grace's family. Um, it's very interesting so far. Um, I mean, the writing is not 
stellar by any means, but it's very entertaining and I always love a good witch story. It was something that I really loved when I was growing up as a teenager and as a kid and so I'm excited to see how this turns out and I would definitely recommend it if this sounds like something you would be into. So I would love to know what you guys have been reading recently, um, what's the most recent book that you've finished, and what are you currently reading? Uh, do any of these sound interesting or have you read them before? I would love to know. So leave me lots of comments down below so that we can get chatting. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Until next time, happy reading!